Yeah, hi. Um, uh, I'm Yukio Kallio, also known as Kozilek. I make music mainly, but this time I uh, tried to make a video game. And I will play it for a bit for you. Wait. Yeah, alright. So this is Life on a Mountain. Oh no, the snowman became sad. Uh, so yeah, um... This is Life on a Mountain. Um, it's a really um, relaxing game, I think, hopefully. And uh, yeah, I. Um, how did get, uh, this game started? By um, with an idea that uh, because I'm from Finland and I love the feeling of uh, coming out of your house and it's snow everywhere and it's super fresh air and you breathe it in. And I wanted that feeling in this game. And also, and, and yeah, and that's like, that's not a goal or anything. It's just um, the feeling. And uh, the other idea why I started this game is I wanted to make a game with music that you can't really play as a soundtrack. You can't just go to Bandcamp and play the music from there. You actually have to experience it in the game. And it's... Oops. Yeah, it's... um. Yeah, so I have a quote here that I wrote really drunk a couple of days ago. So I'm gonna read that. Um, I got super excited when I thought about doing interactive music. But then I realized it has been done before a lot. And I was down, but then realized, fuck that, world needs more of that. And, <laughs> yeah, um, so this game has really um, kind of interactive layered music. It's uh, one song that plays, but with different instrument, instruments. And uh, this is one of the things, when, when the logo comes on, there's guitar, but it fades out slowly. And sometimes it starts to snow and there's a new instrument coming in. I hope it snows soon. Um, when you get to the new area, there's more bass in the music. When you get to close to secrets, this game is uh, all about relaxing, but there's also secrets that you can find. And you can hear the little drums that came in, a rhythm. Because there's pink trees. Uh, what can I do with these pink trees? But yeah, uh, I really wanted to make uh, super layered music, and uh, yeah, I think that's that for the music. So, um, when I go to bed, I always play Spelunky on my PS Vita, and that gets me super excited and then I can't sleep. So I kind of want to um, make this game so I could play it before going to bed. It's kind of like a bedtime story, but without a story, really. Uh, I really like uh, aimlessness. 
uh, in video games like Hohokum, it's so nice to not have a goal and just experience the world. Um, yeah. Yukio, what's your name on Vita? Because I'm the, on I, I'm the only person of my friends that plays Spelunky only on Vita, and I want people to uh, do daily challenge against. Um, you can, I you can't remember. <laughs> you can tell me later. <laughs> yeah. But that makes me happy to hear you say that. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try to talk a bit about um, the sound effects in this game. I actually made these sound effects that are in the game are really... I made them to be placeholder, but then I really like them. Uh, they're made with a little... Um, this is so loud. I made them with a little um, uh, analog synth called Walka Keys, and I just recorded a lot of, lot of sounds with that and made... Uh, basically all the sounds are from that little machine. I really like this sound when you hit, hit a tree running. Wait. It doesn't hurt. Uh, one of the things uh, I kind of still wanted to have something to do in the game for some people, I guess. And that's that's the thing on the wall here, if you can see. It. Uh, I like in, in old adventure games. There's this um, little bar on the bottom, and it says like. 8 out of 10 secrets found, and I wanted to have that kind of thing in the game, and that's uh, the thing on the wall. If you do, uh, let me may, uh, find a secret, and you can see how it changes. something else than fishing. You can fish in this game. You can also play with your kids. Uh, this is a little uh, rock, paper, scissors game. Ha! Got you! Ah! the show is the fishing but um, I can't find oh there's some fishes in the water let's go yes. bare hands oops oh 
Oh no. Okay. Uh, I, I got a fish. Woohoo! There's a fish. Oh, uh, I can I can eat it or I can take it home. Yeah, kids! Fish! Oh, not you. Yes! And when I come back later. Yes! Almost ready for the food. Mmm, looks delicious. Wait in the bed. And the next time I come in. Yes! Everybody's eating. The green one is so fast. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, you can eat. I'm gonna go to sleep. They're still eating. Whoa. Oh, it's night time. It's kind of scary. Yeah, I, I, uh, I want to show you one more thing. I think uh, Jerry had some problems with the mountain, how to climb it. Where is Jerry? Oh, the little kid, the little kid uh, came sleeping with me. Oh, such a cutie. So let's climb that mountain. White things tells me something. I think there's a corner here. Oh no. Oh no. Yes, this is a big spoiler. But the game's not ready, so there's gonna be a lot more to do. Yes! We're on top of the mountain. So you can hear it. Um, because I climbed the mountain, but now there's uh, some grass coming into the sun. It's becoming more full. So yeah, um, what else? Uh, I'm trying to keep the controls super simple. There's only one button and, and the arrow keys, or if you're using controllers, only one stick. And uh, so yeah, so everybody, anybody could play it. 
some thoughts that we talked with, uh, I talked uh, with Rami, Rami Ismail from Lambir, and he had really cool ideas uh, for, the, for the mountain. Uh, right now, when you get out of the mountain, it kind of feels like this is a dangerous place, because there's like nothing, your family is always inside, and, and it's, it's, I don't want players to feel that they are threatened or like there's enemies or something because there's not gonna be any enemies in the game. So what I want to do is get the kids outside playing. I could actually probably do that right now. Yeah, I want to. I want the kids to come out a bit and like having fun, snow fights. So I guess that could make the mountain feel kind of safer. That's uh, that's it, I think. Yukio, the mountain. Whoa, sorry. Uh, a lot, so many cultures around the world have their own legends of wild men and sasquatches and yetis and abominable snowmen. Is there uh, some kind of a legendary creature like that that uh, in Finland? I don't think we have. Well, we have some, but I think like bear is a really like mystical thing in Finland and I'm gonna take a lot from what's it called it's like Finnish Finnish a uh, really ancient uh, witchcraft thing and I'm gonna have like they have this little like witch drum that has uh, like signs on it and, and stuff I want to have that in the game and have some yeah, some, something mystical in the mountain too. Right now it's kinda it's kinda normal normal mountain <laughs> with the Yeti. Does anyone have any questions for Yukio? <laughs> what? No, I, I would uh, can you tell us a bit more about the graphics? Um yeah this is amazing 3D rendered is this unity that you did this in <laughs> this is made in unreal <laughs> 3 engine it's an unreleased new version of unreal yeah unreal 5 yeah um, yeah the art is really beautiful like you oh, managed you. to get really like the characters have a, a, a so much personality and it's like really difficult like the to get to have characters that are this simple that seem kind of like iconic in their own way like just the fact that you put the main characters like the one eye kind of off to the side a little bit like suddenly that's like a that's like a memorable character now <laughs> thanks so uh tonight i don't think i mentioned this but tonight after uh after barfcade and after our award ceremony we're going to have a, cl a fantastic arcade closing party here we're gonna have two dj sets we're gonna have a dj set by ben esposito who made uh, donut county back there but then also yukio is going to have a dj set uh yuki is that going to be uh you or kozilek i think it's going to be kozilek but a really chill set yeah it's going to be the newest uh, evolved form of Kozilek that you've never seen before. <laughs> yes. And uh, Fernando Romayo is going to do some, excuse me, Fernantastic Romayo is going to do <laughs> a video for you. Anyway, any uh, questions about life on a mountain or life in Finland or life as Kozilek? Oh, there's one from Sambak here, so I get to run all the way across the highball. Uh, have you ever lived on a mountain? Huh? Have you ever lived on a mountain? Not really, but I love mountains. I want to climb them. You said you want to climb them or you have climbed them? We don't have any mountains in Finland. We only have like really small like things. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear about Finland. It's full of small things. If there's no questions, can I show another thing? Yes, absolutely. That I made for Ludum Dare with a couple of Wait, friends. We've got one more question over here. So I know you said that you wanted this game to be chilling out as opposed to Spelunky, but some of the sound effects that you're making while you're doing the mini games were really excellent, and maybe you should think about having those in the game. Yeah, yeah, that's probably the reason I'm making the game is to get that super 
excited me out of me. <laughs> like, I get too excited playing video games and I start to shout. So I hope this game can teach me how to be more relaxed. <laughs> Can I show? Yuki, are you getting more chilled out? Is it working for you? I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we like you a little excitable. So yeah, can Yuki I show you? Yuki did a really good job of uh, emceeing last night with Paul Veer at the uh, <laughs> Nuclear Throne. You were at that. Yes, go ahead and let's let's check it out. Uh, we made this uh, for Ludum Dare uh, last time, which was three weeks ago or something. I asked a couple of friends to make. Uh, sounds and I coded this little visual visual instrument. I had a really hard time coming up with the game, but I just wanted to make something, so it was really great to just uh, throw out the goals of the game and just do a toy. So this is, this is Onion EP. Anybody can play this. Have you done something with this with like a custom controller or like a MIDI controller or something? Yeah, that would be super cool, but I don't know if Game Maker can take MIDI. But yeah, the idea idea for this thing was to um, 
super simple to play. No, anybody can make music with this. And uh, but I wanted it to be still um, songs made by uh, composers. So basically, I asked a couple of composers to make uh, the music and choose the scale and do the sounds. But uh, the album becomes full only when the player plays the songs. So you don't listen to it. You play the album yourself. I'd really like to make a full album of this, not just three songs, but like ten songs or something. Yeah. That's really cool. Thank you. Do we have any more questions for Yukio? <laughs> no, Robert's got a question. Not a question. I just think this is fucking beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You could have like said, "Is this fucking beautiful?" <laughs> that would have been a question, but it is. It is fucking beautiful. Thank you so much, Yu-Gi-Oh, for being up here Thank with you. us. <laughs> Please come back tonight and check out Yukio, aka Cozy Lex, DJ set. It's gonna be super cool. Uh, we're